up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing really well. So for today's video, I am bringing you guys what might be one of the most requested videos on my channel up until this point. I'm bringing you guys a review on the new Juvia's Place foundation and concealer. Pretty much ever since these products launched, you guys have been asking me, hey, are you going to do a review? And I apologize that it has taken me this long to get this video up. I have wanted to get this video up several weeks ago but I still wanted to go ahead and post it because I did promise several of you guys that I would post this video so we are finally here better late than never I am bringing you guys the Juvia's Place foundation and concealer review so before we jump in I want to give you guys a couple of quick details about the products this is the foundation this is what the packaging looks like it is one fluid ounce and I'll go ahead and put it out there my shade is 435 Punta Cana that was the most asked question because I know a lot of you guys use me as a shade match. I obviously have the foundation on my face right now and I am in the shade 435 Punta Cana. So this foundation does retail for $20. There are 42 different shades and you can also actually find this foundation now at Ulta. So it is considered on the affordable or drugstore side. So if you have a coupon, you can use your coupon, get a couple of dollars off. And it also gives you the opportunity to go into the store and swatch the shades to figure out what your perfect match is if you are still a little bit unsure of what the best fit would be for you. And then the concealer looks like this. It has 0.34 fluid ounces. Now I personally don't really get too caught up in the fluid ounces, but I know for some of you guys that is important, so that's why I'm mentioning it. So 0.34 fluid ounces on the concealer, one fluid ounce on the foundation, which is on par or comparable to your typical foundation um, amount of product that you get in the packaging. The concealer comes in I believe 14 different shades, no, 24 different shades and retails for $14. So I picked mine up in the shade 13. This shade is actually more of like my skin tone shade. You'll see in the demo that I did go in with a slightly lighter concealer just to actually highlight my face. This one is more of my actual complexion shade. I did not realize that when I ordered it. The swatches made it seem like it would be a like more of a highlight shade on me. But when I actually purchased it, and again, as I said, you'll see in the demo, it is much more of my actual complexion shade. I do not plan on purchasing a lighter shade because I feel like I can get the same um, overall finish by using this shade and then just adding a slightly lighter concealer on top of it in the inner portion of my eye which you guys will see me do in this video so since you guys did have to wait a nice little minute for this review i have some extra footage this is going to be a very thorough review for you guys it's not a first impression it is a review i have worn this foundation over five times at this point i've worn it for long hours i've worn it to work i've worn it with different primers so i'm going to be giving you guys a very thorough review as well as showing you um, the day that I did do a wear test, when I wore it to work, I wore it for over 15 hours, I worked out in it. This is going to be, I'm giving y'all all the tea, okay, on this foundation. So, I hope that you guys enjoy this video, I hope that you find it helpful. I feel like it's probably going to be a little bit of a long one, but I'm giving you guys a lot of information so that you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to purchase this foundation. So, without further ado, if you are new to my channel, my name is Faye. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I really hope that you enjoy it and find it helpful. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or just give it a thumbs up, you know, just support your girl, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you have not already, definitely be sure to also subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And let's go ahead and get into the review. All right, so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in. And before I jump into actually applying the product to my face, for those of you guys that are interested, I wanna quickly give you a rundown of my primers. Today I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I just applied that all over. If you've been watching my channel, you already know I like to use this as a moisturizer like an oil controlling moisturizer so I just applied this all over and then right in this area of my face I use the cover FX blurring primer if you're looking for a primer to help blur your pores this one right here is bomb so I just applied that right in this area and then all over the rest of my face again I went in with the milk makeup hydro grip primer 
I have tried a couple of different primers with this foundation and I have found that this one works the best. This primer in general is just amazing. If you have been on the fence about picking up this primer, I highly recommend picking it up. It is so good. As hot as it's been down here in Atlanta, this primer right here keeps my makeup on all day long. And I find that even when I get oily with this foundation, this primer still keeps it in place and I just blot the oil and the foundation itself does not move. So this primer right here has been my go-to the last couple of weeks. So I just applied that all over and I did it off camera because with the milk primer, you do have to let it sit for like 30 seconds to a minute to allow it to get tacky on the face. So I just went ahead and did that off camera to save time and let's go ahead and jump into the foundation. So of course you guys know I'm going to be applying the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation. I have mine in the shade Punta Cana or Punta, yeah, Punta Cana, which is shade number 435. And if there is one tip that I can give you guys with this foundation, it is that a little goes a long way. So I like to just squeeze a little bit out on a concealer brush, and that might actually be a little bit too much, but just that much. I don't know if you guys can see. And you can tell it's pretty thick, like it's not really moving on my brush at all. And I'm just gonna go in and do a stripe, 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 stripe. And honestly, I actually applied a little bit too much, but I'm just gonna leave this on the brush. So if I wanna go in with a little bit extra in any places, I will have this to do that with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my Morphe M439 foundation brush. So as you can see, this is one side of my face blended out and that one little stripe of product covered my entire, like this entire half of my face. A little bit of this product goes a long way. And one thing that I also really like about this is it just applies so flawlessly to the skin. Like as I'm like swiping and um, pressing it in, you can just see how flawless it looks. It just blends right in. Okay, so this is the entire face blended out. And I hate to waste this product that I have still left on the brush, but I don't really need it. I mean, I guess I could apply a little bit over here, a little bit over here. I just don't want to do too much because I don't want it to um, start to get too cakey on the skin. But honestly, just one layer is all you need. It is a thicker formula, so it's going to give you full, full, full coverage with a very little bit of product which is one thing that I really like because I feel like you're really getting your bang for your buck with this product. Even though it is affordable, you don't have to use a ton of it to get full coverage. And I am a full coverage girl, so if you are a full coverage girl, this foundation right here is everything. And you can also see how well it just blends in with my skin. I was a little bit nervous about it when I first purchased it, but I have worn it at least over five times now. And every time I wear it, I just feel like it just blends in with my skin so nicely. So, okay, foundation is on. Next up, I'm gonna move on to concealer. Now for the concealer, I got the shade 13. This concealer is not really light enough for me to highlight with. So I am gonna go in with a slightly lighter concealer just to brighten, but I do want to show you guys what the consistency and what the formula looks like. The concealer honestly pairs perfectly with the foundation. It's not quite as heavy, but it blends out really nicely under the eyes. And whenever I do wear this, even if I have to go in with a slightly lighter shade to highlight, my concealer lasts all day long. It doesn't crease, it doesn't budge, it stays in place. So again, I have mine in the shade 13, but if you want a highlighting shade, I would recommend going up a shade or two to get a shade that you can highlight and conceal at the same time. So I'm just going to apply this to show you guys how it applies, and I'm gonna be blending it out with my e.l.f. beauty sponge. Okay. 
Okay guys, so this is what my face is looking like after the concealer. As you can see, my skin, I mean, it literally looks flawless. The concealer actually is a little bit more hydrating. You can kind of tell like right in the area where I blended it out. It's a little bit more glowy than it was when I applied the foundation. But that I actually like because underneath my eyes tends to be more dry, which you can probably kind of see right in this area. It just tends to be a little bit more dry underneath my eyes. So I like that the concealer is still full coverage, but a little bit more on the hydrating side. So it's not drying out my under eyes, especially since I'm going to go in and bake and do all of that. I do not need a concealer that is going to dry out my under eyes. But this shade is actually more so of my same foundation shade. Then it is a highlight shade. As you can see, everything still looks pretty flat. It's slightly lighter, like ever so slightly lighter, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same shade as my skin. So I'm just gonna go in with a slightly lighter concealer, just a little bit, so that we can get a little bit of a highlight going on. Okay, so this is what we're looking like with a little bit of highlight pop in. And honestly, I feel like having just this shade on, it kind of distorts the um, color of the foundation a little bit and makes it look like it's not the right shade. But when I actually highlight, it balances everything out and just makes everything match with my neck and it just brings it all together. So. This is what we're looking like. I haven't said it or anything yet. Now I will say, although I did apply two concealers, it's definitely already creasing underneath my eyes. So I would highly recommend that you set it. It would do that even if I hadn't applied the other concealer on top of it, because like I said, it is a more hydrating um, concealer. So for that reason, it is going to kind of settle into your fine lines if you do have them. But if you set or bake your under eye, then again, like I said, you won't have to worry about um, it creasing or settling or anything like that. You'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye. I'm going to be mixing the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and the Kylie um, Cosmetics Loose Setting Powder in the shade Beige. And I'm just going to set everywhere that I just applied the concealer. And then last but not least for skin, I'm going in with my new Holy Grail. This is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition Powder in the shade Medium Tan Neutral. And you guys know I have been raving about this powder. It is so, so good. Ever since I got this, I have literally been using it nonstop. I haven't been able to use any of my powders because I've just been obsessed with this one. So I'm just going to go in with my Morphe E1 powder brush and apply this on all of the areas that I did not apply concealer. All right, so this is what we are looking like up close for the complexion. As you can see, the match is on point and my skin looks really smooth. It looks flawless. The foundation feels really nice on the skin. It's not um, like tacky or sticky. It just feels like my face, honestly. I don't feel like I have anything on my skin. It sits on my skin nicely. It blends into my skin nicely. I don't feel like it's just sitting on top. I feel like it actually blended into my face. Even though the consistency or the formula is heavy, it does not feel heavy on my skin whatsoever. And it just looks bomb, full coverage slay okay so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face i am filming this tutorial for you guys it's a review on some drugstore products so that will be up for you guys really soon so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up that video and then i'll come back to give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation also while i'm finishing my face i'm going to insert some um, clips from when I did a full day wear test. I wore the foundation to work and wore it for over 15 hours. So I will go ahead and insert those clips and then I will be back to give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick little check-in. I'm actually at work. I applied my foundation this morning at um, seven, I probably finished around 7.15 and right now it is 9.15 so it's been two hours so far since I applied the foundation to my skin. I also have the concealer on 
and this is what it's looking like now that everything has kind of settled it applied really nicely it's super full coverage i can already see on my nose i'm already starting to get a little bit shiny you guys know i have super oily skin so i'm already starting to get a little bit shiny here on my nose area but besides that, everything else is holding up pretty well. I did um, go outside for a second and it's really hot outside and I was sweating. So that might be why I'm already starting to get a little bit oily on that area. But everything else looks pretty good. So I will continue to wear the foundation, obviously. And I will check in with you guys a little bit later and give you an update on how everything is looking. Because I have a feeling I'm probably going to have to... Um, like set some places and just touch up later on today but i will check in with you guys to show you how everything is looking before i do that all right guys so i am um in my car i just finished eating my lunch i'm about to get ready to go back into work it is now 304 so i have had the foundation on now for a good little while i don't know how many hours that is since seven so so like eight hours now i've had it on my face as you can see, I am pretty oily. And I did wanna mention, I took a little bit of a late lunch because I'm in training. Um, I mentioned that in my last video, I got a promotion at work, which is great. So I'm currently in training for that. So I am not, I didn't go to lunch at my regular time today. Um, so I was actually very oily around like one. And I did go ahead and blot my face at one, just because like I said, I am at work and I didn't wanna be walking around looking like an oily mess. Um, so I did go ahead and blot my face, but I did wanna mention when I blotted, my skin literally like, it was almost as if the oil was just sitting right on top of my face and I was just blotting off the oil and the rest of the makeup still looked flawless. My pores still look flawless. Like my face still look bomb. So as you can see, like I said, I'm pretty oily um, right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and blot and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what everything is looking like. Okay, so I went ahead and blotted my face and as you can see the makeup like on my actual skin is not really disturbed at all. I'm still a little bit oily around my brows, but that's okay. The rest of my face, like I said, the makeup, I just pretty much just blotted off the oil and everything else is not really disturbed. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of powder like on my brows and the other areas that are still a little bit oily. And then I'll come back one more time and just show you how it all looks. All right, guys, so once again, this is what my face is looking like after I added the powder. I mostly just focused it like on this area, on my T-zone. I also added a little bit of lip gloss because my lips was looking chapped and y'all didn't even tell me. That's okay, though. But yes, this is what my face is looking like. Again, um, you know, it looks a little worn in, got a little bit of a glow happening, but for the most part, it looks pretty much like new so I'm gonna continue wearing this face I'll be getting off work in about the next hour or so um so I may or may not do another check-in for you guys because when I get home I'll actually be washing all of this off and filming the first part of this video that you guys have probably already seen which will be me actually applying the foundation and demoing oh and I wanted to mention just quickly my eyelids there's like literally no creasing on my eyelids. I did apply the concealer on my eyelids as well as, you know, under my eyes and on all the regular areas. And normally around this time of the day, I have creasing in the folds of my eye. And my eyelids look really good, like super smooth. So that is definitely a plus for sure. Like my eyelids look really, really good. Um, so that is a plus for the concealer, but yes, this is what we're looking like. I'm gonna stop rambling, let you guys get back to the video. And yeah. Hey guys, so I decided to do one final check-in um, of the day before I go ahead and wash my face. I'm in my bathroom getting ready to wash all of this makeup off. The time is now 10.40. So I have literally had this on my face now for over 12 hours. And I wanted to check in with you guys because I actually just finished working out. I normally don't wear makeup when I work out, but I decided to go at the last minute because my husband wanted me to go with him to the park. So we went out there, it was super hot. So I was pouring sweat and we did a walk run for two miles on the track. 
and like i said i was literally dripping sweat so when i got in the car i just took a napkin and blotted where i was sweating and you guys i mean it's kind of breaking up a little bit in some areas but for the most part it still looks pretty good i mean it still looks pretty good honestly in comparison to other foundations that i have worn for this long normally it would be completely separating and just looking really gross and nasty and honestly i feel like i would feel comfortable still wearing this if i needed to it's not perfect like i said but if i needed to i feel like i could touch up and still go with this for another couple of hours which is honestly amazing the concealer held up really really well i do think i need a lighter shade for sure but as far as the consistency and the formula it was smooth underneath my eyes for the most part, it stayed matte, as you can see. I have very minimal creasing, a little bit of creasing, but very minimal. Most of that is probably from me sweating when I was working out. But yeah, I'm very, very, very impressed. Very impressed. All right, guys, so I am back to wrap up this video, give you guys my final thoughts. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have a pretty good idea, all of you guys, honestly, that are watching this video probably have a pretty good idea of where I stand on this foundation after watching me demo the product and then also the um, inserting of the wear test clips for you guys. And honestly, I give this foundation a 10 out of 10. It's definitely in my top five favorite foundations from the drugstore for sure. I am a full coverage girl, so it checks that off the list for me. I am very, very oily, and this does not break up on me throughout the day. The concealer does not crease underneath my eyes, and it's just long wearing. You guys saw in the demo, all throughout the day, it looked bomb, even after I had to blot and do some touch-ups. It still looked really, really good considering all that I did that day um, while wearing the foundation. I do think a lot of that can be attributed to this primer. This primer right here is honestly heaven in a bottle. If you have been on the fence about getting it, just get it. I promise you will not regret it. You can even go to Sephora and get a little sample or get the smaller um, travel size version to try it out if you're not sure that you want to invest in the full size. But I'm telling you, this primer right here is probably going to be one of my holy grails that I'm going to continue to purchase over and over. Because although it doesn't control oil, even when I get oily, it still holds my makeup in place. My makeup does not budge whenever I use this primer. So I'm sure using this along with the foundation did play a little bit of a part. But regardless, the foundation did stay in place. It remained full coverage. Even though it is a thicker consistency, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It doesn't settle into any of the texture on my skin. It just looks flawless and just everything, okay? So that is my review on this foundation. And I feel like this is probably one of the most thorough reviews that I've ever done on my channel. But you guys already know I love to bring you guys very informative, thorough videos because ain't nobody got time to be wasting coins on products that we don't need or that don't work. So that's what I'm here for, to bring you guys the tea on these products. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Let me know down below if there are any other products that you guys would like for me to review or any other videos in general that you guys would like to see on my channel. I did film this full tutorial. So that will be up for you guys very soon. This video will be up first because I know you guys wanna see it, but this tutorial is also a review on some drugstore products. So you guys are getting a little sneaky peeky on this look. It will be up for you guys soon. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I have for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below for me in the comments. If I forgot anything, I will leave it for you in the description bar. And I will have the foundation and the concealer both linked for you down below if you're interested in picking it up. If you do decide to purchase it from Ulta, please use a coupon. Like, don't spend all your coins if you don't have to. And if you decide to purchase it on the Juvia's Place website, there are so many coupon codes out there that you can use on their products. So definitely search some coupon codes or just search Juvia's Place on Instagram and scroll through a couple of posts. You'll come across a coupon code um, so that you don't have to pay full price. So yeah, that's all I got. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you very soon in my next one.